Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you for joining me. My name is Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program and we have an hour together for chair yoga. We'll be spending the first part of the class in the chair and the second part on the floor or if you prefer to bring the floor to you, you could lie down on the bed or a raised surface that is firm, like a really nice firm sofa or anything that suits you. Everything that I guide you in is a suggestion. So listening to what I say and then deciding for yourself whether it works for your body, whether you wish to adapt it, change it, if you wish to do less or more repetitions, if you want to change up the pace, everything is up to your discernment. So choosing to work with your body and not against it, never forcing anything or straining. And the foundation of everything in yoga is the connection to the breath. So we'll start with building awareness and then connect that awareness to the breath. And we'll move through our practice with the breath and that awareness being the primary point of focus. The chair you're on, making sure that it's comfortable and stable. If you wish to sit into the back of the chair for support, please go ahead. If you wish to sit away from the back of the support, then um, you can go ahead and do that too. Again, everything I suggest is for you to play with and decide for yourself what feels good to you in the moment. There is no wrong way to do any of this. Feet are the comfortable distance apart for you. Root down through the feet. It doesn't matter whether you've got shoes on or socks on. If you want to, spread the toes, maybe lifting the toes. You can even lift the balls of the feet if you like. And if you want to give your feet and ankles a little waggle, then you can to ease things up a little. Push down through the heels, about 5%. You'll feel the muscles of your legs light up a little. And then, as evenly as possible, if those balls of the feet or the toes are lifted, setting them down evenly left and right at the same time, inside and outside edge of the feet, and then let the toes soften down a little bit like snowflakes. Take a breath in when you're ready. Exhale, send your awareness down to the soles of your feet and feel free to soften your gaze or close your eyes to awaken that awareness a little more. Often when we turn off our sight, everything else gets a little louder. So noticing the soles of your feet and the surface underneath them. You might notice that in lots of different ways. You might notice the sensation of pushing down into the surface underneath you. You might notice the surface softness or hardness or temperature. You might notice the parts of your foot that are connected downwards and the parts like the arch of the foot or in between the toes that are not connected downwards. Be curious as to whether the left and the right foot are evenly and firmly down, or if you're pushing, putting more pressure on one than the other. Just be curious, no judgment. Allowing that connection down to the earth underneath you as you rise your awareness up towards your seat, where your seat meets the chair. And depending on the kind of chair you're on, if you move from side to side, you may even be able to find those two bony bits underneath you, which is the base of the pelvis. Connecting downwards, again, left to right as evenly as possible. Notice if it feels better for you to have your shoulders a little more forward, a little further back, or how it feels to have your shoulders directly over your hips. And again, this is gonna feel different to all of us as we're put together differently. Take a breath in when you're ready. And on the exhale, sit the upper body weight down into the seat and into the support of the earth underneath you, so your feet in seat. And do that a couple of times and notice if there's any tension and tightness, especially around the center of your body that you can relax and release. Mm-hmm. 
and then from there we have this rootedness will rise up through the center line of the body through the torso lifting up through the crown of the head chin tucked a little and then let's roll those shoulders back and down a couple of times and when it feels okay for you, leaving the shoulders back and down, broadening across the collarbones, and here we have this rootedness from the pelvis down, and this lifting and expansion through the upper body. Take a breath in. Keep the shape, let go of tension. And you can take a few breaths to allow that tension to dissolve if there was any that arose, until our body gets used to this shape. And notice if it's any different from how you normally sit. Maybe you always sit into the back of your chair. Maybe you're aware of the fact that maybe you notice that you're shifting to one side or another, or more forward or more back. Again, be curious. And then from this place, always knowing you can shift and move at any time, let's do our little check-in and build our awareness. Another great way to do this is to soften the gaze or close the eyes if you feel comfortable, or just lower the gaze. Can we start to tune out the outside world? Asking yourself the question, how am I doing today? Let anything arise. And notice if you're distracted or irritated we just want to get on with things. And all of this, there's no wrong way to do this. There's no wrong way to be doing in this moment. It's just a building awareness. Often we do not check in with ourselves. Nearly often enough. Notice what's on your mind today. Maybe a certain situation, person, or concern. There may be something you're looking forward to or something great that just happened. And as you focus on what it is your mind is occupied with, settle down into your heart space or where you feel connected to your emotions and notice, how am I feeling today? What am I feeling today? And maybe there's a lot of feelings, emotions, Maybe you're not quite sure. Maybe there's just one or nothing. And then we notice our body, expanding our awareness throughout our body. You might notice different sensations. You might notice places that feel tight or tense. You might put, notice places that feel ease, comfort. If there is any tension and tightness, see if you can intuitively soften or allow that to ebb away a little with a few breaths or some movements. And then we start to check in with the breath, the inhaling and the exhaling of the breath. A little deeper inhale when you're ready, a little longer exhale and if you haven't already, you could consider breathing in and out through the nose, if that's comfy for you. And if that's not comfy for you, then breathing in a way that feels really easy for you. And you start to increase that inhale and lengthen the exhale in your own way. We all breathe differently. Especially if it's early morning, our breath tends to be small. And then we smooth the breath out to the top of the inhale, to the bottom of the exhale. And then noticing if there's any straining or forcing of the breath. If there is, just let that go. Let the breath soften a little so it feels like you could sit here for an hour and breathe just like that, and it would be effortless. Be 
gentle with yourself. And this is the breath we'll come back to. So at any time in your practice, you can come back to stillness, you can come back to this awareness of the breath, and you can always do that little check-in with how you're doing, what's on your mind, how you're feeling, and how your body feels. We'll root down, feet and seat to rise from there. Let's take our hands in front of us, soft palms towards each other, right in front of the heart space. And on the inhale, letting those fingers rise. And on that exhale, bringing the hands down. Mm -hmm. Inhaling to let the breath lead those fingers up. Maybe keep the bent elbows, maybe the arms straighten a little more. Exhale, take it down. See if you can keep ease in the movement. On that exhale, if you wish to, the heels of the hands can stay connected or they can part as the fingertips stay connected. Be honest with yourself and notice when you're straining, when you're forcing, and allow those hands to be the symptom of the breath rather than forcing. And we're just opening up through the hands, the wrists, the elbows, the shoulders, and as we connect to that breath and movement. Mm -hmm. And the next time we take those hands up, We'll connect the fingers and interlace the hands. So we'll send those knuckles up towards the ceiling. That's the inhale, elbows bent or towards straight. And on the exhale, turn the palms towards the front and take the palms down and away from you. Inhaling all the way up and exhaling all the way down, pushing the palms away. Again, elbows can be bent or towards straight. The wider those elbows are, the easier the movement is in the shoulders. Keep the breath going at your own cadence. If you want to add on, rather than keeping the spine neutral, as we lift up, arching the back, opening up through the heart, and on the exhale, drawing the belly in towards the chest as we round. And then we're getting into extension and flexion of the spine. The gaze can come up, lengthening through the back of the neck on that inhale, on the exhale, tucking the chin. Let's take another three here. Any numbness, tingling in the fingers, the hands, you're releasing or bending those elbows a little more to release the nerves that are being pinched. Stay with that steady breath. One more. On that exhale, we'll release the hands. Take the hands either side of you. Any intuitive movement to release tension Rooting to rise again, steadying the breath, and on the inhale, let's draw those shoulders up by the ears, exhaling, rolling them back and down. And those arms can dangle right next to you. If it feels better for you, you can get the elbows involved a little bit. Notice how you experience this movement in your body. Mm hmm. Notice uh, one side and the other if they're, one is feeling very different from the other. Again, no judgments, just a curiosity. And then on the, one of your next exhales, let's pause and take those circles around in the opposite direction. And you might feel this in a very different way in your body. You might feel it connected to a very different place in your body. Where is it that you feel sensation here? Is there anything you need to adjust? Is it feeling better if you do less or rest? Let's take another one or two. 
And at the end of that exhale, we'll pause and come back up through center, bending through the elbows. Come back to that steady breath if it got a little elevated. And then from here, I'm gonna draw that right elbow forward, inhaling up, back and down, and then left elbow up, back and down. So now we're getting a little more into the shoulders, inhaling and exhaling. Keeping the spine fairly neutral to start with, those circles that you're drawing with the elbows can be small and low. Maybe they're a little bit bigger, you get to choose. The add on here is to lift up through the chest. We arch the back a little and we get that extension through the front of the body, really opening up through the heart space, underneath the armpits, through the side of the body. And the gaze can lift if the back of the neck is nice and long. Let's take another two either side. Unless you're resting, adjusting things for you. And then at that last exhale, we come back through center. Elbows bend again, neutral spine, rooting to rise. And then we're going around in the opposite direction. So this time, the right elbow comes back up, forward and down. And then the left elbow joins it. So keeping the spine as neutral as possible. Again, those circles may be low and small. One side may have a very different range of motion to the other. Honor your body. Rest if you need to. And if you want to add on, we draw the belly in towards the spine, rounding and then we're widening over the back of the ribs, the whole back body, you may even feel this down through your mid back, your lower back, you can tuck your chin if you want to get into that cervical spine. Keep the breath steady and smooth, noticing how you feel this. Let's take another two either side or four more breaths. Keep connected to the breath connected to your body. Mm -hmm. Last one. And then when you're ready, we're coming up through center. Let's keep those arms dangling either side, rooting to rise, steadying the breath. This is the inhale on the exhale. Let's dangle those right fingertips down. Keep the left hip connected down. Inhaling up and then those left fingertips down, right hip connected. So the pelvis is anchored as we move from side to side. Shoulders wide and broad across the collarbone. So we're not rounding or coming forward. It's as if you're sliding up and down a wall, base of the skull, shoulder blades in the back of your pelvis connected to that imaginary wall. Getting into the lateral flexion of the spine. If you want to add on as we drop the one set of fingertips, the opposite arm can come up and then we're coming to the other side. It's a whole lot more on the core as you do this. Try and keep focused on the pelvis so those sitting bones stay anchored to the chair. We're not lifting one side and the other. Noticing how the side length of your body feels. You can, of course, hold on to the side of your chair if you wish that support. If you wish to build the core a little more, keeping those hands dangling. And let's take four more breaths here in your own time. Opening up through the side of the body and noticing how this feels for you. Connect the movement to the breath, more or less, one more to go. And then we're going to come all the way up through center. Hands resting on the top of the legs, take a breath in when you're ready. Exhale it out, low and steady. 
and come back to that smoothing of the breath. We smooth the breath, we regulate the nervous system. If you're sitting into the back of your chair, I highly recommend coming forward, even if it's just a little bit, as long as you feel stable as we come down through the spine. We've done a little movement in the spine and we're gonna to come to that more intentional spinal movement. So we're gonna draw the shoulder blades towards each other on the inhale. Let the elbows draw back. That's the inhale. On the exhale, send the fingertips on or towards the knees as we round the upper shoulders. Inhaling, opening across the front of the chest. Exhaling, opening across the back of the shoulders. You can imagine if you like your shoulder blades kissing behind you on the inhale, on the exhale, they're sliding as far apart as they can get. Option to stay here or on the inhale, we send the front ribs forward. So now we're getting down into the thoracic spine, arching on the exhale, pushing the back of the ribs towards the back of the chair. Great place to be. If that feels good to you, then stay. If you want to do less, do less. If you want to, we're now popping the belly forward as we send the tailbone out behind us. On the exhale, drawing the belly button in towards the spine as we round onto the back of the pelvis. Send the tailbone out on that inhale. And on the exhale, tucking the tailbone down underneath you to sit on the back of the pelvis any amount. Then we're getting into the lumbar spine. There's a whole lot of core involved here. So we're not throwing ourselves to the top of the inhale and the bottom of the exhale. We're using that entire breath in on the extension, exhaling on the flexion. If you want to come up into the neck, Lifting on the inhale, lifting the chin and the amount, but lengthening through the back of the neck. So we're reaching the forehead towards the ceiling. On the exhale, tuck the chin and lengthen through the back of the neck again. And then we're getting that whole spine involved. If you want to, on that inhale, imagine dragging the heels of the feet back towards the chair. On the exhale, push down into the feet as you round. Moving with the breath. Let's take another couple here, keeping those hands just sliding up and down the top of the legs. Mm -hmm. And staying for one last exhale. If you want to do more, of course you can. And we'll come back to stillness when you're ready, if you're not already resting. Take a big breath in. Exhale it out. Beautiful job. And again, regulating the breath. And then from here, we're gonna swizzle around to the right side of our chair. Depending on the kind of chair you're on, maybe you want to come forward a little bit so those feet are planted on the earth. We're rooting to rise. Rooting down from the pelvis, down to the feet, and then rising through the upper body. We'll take that left hand on the right thigh. Right hand comes either to the back of your chair seat, depending on the kind of chair you're on, or even to the back of the chair, depending on the range of motion you have in your shoulders. No forcing here. Please allowing yourself to drift that right hand back. Inhale, let's lift up. Exhale, twisting to the back of the chair. Inhaling back to center. So this is a great place to be. You can glance over that right shoulder if you want to. No forcing here. If you're feeling like your hands are doing a lot of the work, then hover the hands and allow the twist to come from the musculature of your torso. Sitting bones are rooted down, so we're not drifting that left hip forward, which will allow us for a little more twist, but the twist is coming from the pelvis. Option to stay here. Option to twist and stay. Hands can drift to wherever they are. And again, if you're gripping really hard, then see if you can just soften the hands so they're resting in place. Three breaths here. Soften the muscles of your face. 
on those exhales, you can let go a little more and then release the hands on the next inhale. We're coming back through center. Big breath in. Releasing any tension on that exhale. I'm going to take that right hand to the back of the chair and then we're going to sit the left sitting bone off the chair. Notice if your left hip just lifted or lowered and we're trying to keep the pelvis as neutral as possible. Rooting to rise, really connected back into both feet there. Now anchor the right foot down, great place to stay. This feels unstable, please come back to the chair and focus on the breath or go into another twist. Option to take that left knee down, toes tucked or untucked, your choice, whatever feels stable. But take a look at that left ankle and make sure it's not out to the side, that it is in line with your hip. If you're feeling like you're coming forward, then just bring the knee a little more forward so the spine is more neutral here. Option to stay here, a little cat and cow with the spine, and then coming to a place that feels really neutral. Option to keep the shoulders over the hips here and explore whether you can send that left foot back a little or a lot without coming forward. And then we're opening up through the quad here and through that left hip flexor. Rooting down through both feet and imagine drawing the hips and the legs in towards each other. And it's kind of called scissoring, as if you were coming in through the center line of the body, we're rooting to rise. That right hand is supported either on the back of the chair or depending on the chair you're on, maybe on the back seat of your chair. Hand to the hip can help allow that left hip to slide forward instead of opening up. Option to stay here. Option to open out that left palm from the elbow to start with. Inhaling up, exhaling fingertips down as if moving through molasses. Stay here or option to draw those left fingertips up, maybe even over to the right side, back of the chair, and exhaling down. We've already opened up through the center line of the body here. So not unfamiliar to you. Let's take another three breaths here. Rooting down to rise. Keep the breath nice and steady. Always come out should you need to. Last one here. On that exhale, taking that left hand back to the left leg, bringing it forward, staying for one breath with that left sit bone off the chair. And then on your next inhale, we we'll shift towards being seated fully on the chair and in your own time coming back forward again. Any intuitive movement you need and then we're coming to the other side. Shifting off towards the left side of the chair, feet rooted, shoulders over hips, head over heart and we're breathing, starting to settle the breath right hand to the left thigh, left hand comes back by the chair, any amount, shoulders roll back and down, on an inhale we root feet and seat to rise, on the exhale twisting over that back of the chair, inhaling back to center. And if you're finding as you do this, your hands are doing the majority of the work, and keep the hands light or hovered and see if that twist can come from the torso instead of the strength of the arms. Option to stay here, option to twist and stay, three breaths, the hands resting softly, 
Every inhale, there's an opportunity to lift more. Every exhale, to soften or deepen into the twist. After that last exhale, we release and come back through center. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Left hand to the back or the seat of the chair. And then we're sliding that right sitting bone off the chair itself. Noticing if the hip just lowered or lifted and we're trying to keep that as neutral as possible. If this already feels very unstable, then come back to sit on the chair, focus on the breath or do the twist again. Option to let the right knee drop down. Again, making sure that it's not coming out at an odd angle, that it is more in line with the hip that right hip moving forward and not opening out. A little cat and cow here through the spine, noticing if you're more angled one way or another and come to a neutral place. Head over heart, shoulders over hips, and we breathe. Keeping the upright portion of the torso, option to slide that right leg back a little more. Not so much so that the shoulders come forward though. Just enough to open up through that right hip flexor. Hand on the hip and roll the pelvis forward and keep it from opening out to the side. And then we're really getting through the hip flexors, those three hip flexors here and through the quad. Great place to stay. Keeping the breath steady and smooth. Option to take that right palm out from the elbow, fingertips lift on the inhale, palm down on the exhale, great place to stay. If you want to add on, right fingertips up and over, that left hand can support you. Inhaling and exhaling. Finding that length through the side of your body. You have three more to go. Root down through both feet, Draw the hips and legs in towards the center line of your body. Keep that breath steady and as smooth as possible. With your own rhythm, stay for one last exhale. And then that right hand comes back. Right foot comes forward, staying with that right sitting bone off the chair. Take a breath in. Exhale it out. And then we're sitting back onto the chair and coming back in your own time to face forward. Washing the knees side to side, noticing just how that feels in the hips. Rooting to rise. Steady the breath. Do a little check in with yourself, noticing how you're doing. What's on your mind. How you're feeling and how your body feels. And then anchor into the breath as we smooth and steady it out. From here, taking the feet a little wider, we've got external rotation here. Ankles more or less under the knees. And we breathe. Rooting to rise. Left hand supporting you on the top of the thigh. Right hand dangling next to you. So the collarbones are nice and broad here. Imagine that wall behind you, base of your skull, shoulder blades in the back of your pelvis. And just like we did, we'll turn that right palm out. Inhaling fingers up towards the shoulders, exhaling down as if through honey. Option to stay there. Option to lift the arm up overhead any amount exhaling down. That left hand can support you should you wish to bring that up and over to the left side. If you like the support of your left hand there, take it. If you want to dangle that and allow the core of the body to strengthen, then go ahead. We've got three more to go. Keep that right hip anchored onto the chair so we're not tilting the pelvis. So this 
length is really only through the upper body and on that exhale we're coming back through center any intuitive movement to release tension right hand comes to support you left palm turns out inhaling fingers up exhaling down staying here keeping the spine neutral lifting the arm any height keeping those joints nice and easy and the hand comes down on the exhale option to sweep the left fingertips up and over using that right hand for support option to stay here option to dangle that right hand if you want the core of the body to take your weight let's take three more here Keep the breath nice and steady. Keep anchored feet and seat down to the earth underneath you. Keep the breath even, as even as you possibly can. Notice how this feels in your body. And then we're coming all the way back up through center. Fingertips resting on the inside of the legs. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Bottom ribs starting to rotate round in a hula hoop. On the inhale, the ribs coming forward. On the exhale, round and back. Inhaling, round and forward. You can let the ribs do the work, a very small movement if it feels good to you. I'm trying to find flow here more than the size of the movement. If it feels good to you, you're welcome to get the head, the shoulders, the neck involved, even the pelvis, the feet. And again, allow the entire breath to move through you. So we're not pausing at any point unless you want to rest. Let's take another three in this direction. Getting that movement flowing, as much flow as you possibly can find. And then at the end of that exhale, we'll pause and take that round in the opposite direction. Big or small movements. At the beginning, it's gonna feel a little awkward. That's okay. Then we smooth it out as the body starts to get used to this direction. Find as much flow as you can rather than the size of the movement. Let's take another three. Use the breath to guide that fluidity and smooth the breath just as you smooth the movement in the body. And then we'll come all the way back through center, allowing those feet to come back to a more parallel place. Just washing the knees side to side again, noticing how that feels in your hips. And we'll come back through center. Take a breath in, exhale, let it settle. Take another couple like that, maybe closing the eyes or lowering the gaze. A little check in with yourself, noticing how you're doing, how your body's doing, what you're feeling. And then we steady and smooth the breath. And when you feel ready, I'm gonna come down to the earth and I'll meet you there again if you wanna bring the earth to you. Then lying down on a recliner or on your bed is perfectly fine. Make sure you can hear me well and you have everything around you for your relaxation at the end. And I will see you down on the earth. Welcome to the second part of class. I'm gonna be coming all the way to my back Knees to the sky, feet to the floor. So depending on where you are, making sure your knees are bent. And then to lengthen the spine, we pick the pelvis up and connect it a little closer towards the heels, lengthening through the vertebrae. Now, if having your head back strains your throat, please put a folded blanket or a firm pillow underneath your head to allow the throat to soften. And then take a breath in when you're ready. Exhale it out slow and long. And we'll take a couple of breaths just like that.
coming back to that steady, smooth breath. Keeping that left foot on the floor. Let's give that right knee a little hug. Press down through the left leg enough to anchor the lower back into the mat. And then let's circle through the right ankle. Nice and slow, as big a range of motion as the breath allows. And then we'll pause and go around in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. And then we'll flex that ankle. And then again, anchoring the lower back by pushing into the left foot. And then we'll take that right knee up towards the sky, ankle around about knee height or below, but not above. And that right hand pushing towards the top of the thigh, towards the knee. Roll the shoulder blade back and underneath you on the right shoulder so the shoulder isn't up by your ear. And then we breathe, anchoring the lower belly. And then I'm going to add pressure, palm to thigh, thigh to palm. Building up a little strength through the groin, through the hip, only as much as the breath allows you here. Keep the breath steady and smooth. If you've got too much strain through the shoulder, through the jaw, through the neckline, please release it only as much as the body can steady the breath. You can add a little more pressure, palm into thigh, thigh into palm if you like, but keep the belly button anchored down. As soon as you start to pop the belly and arch the back, then you've done too much. We really keep that lower back imprinted into the mat. Keep the breath steady and then release the pressure in your own time and then give a little hug into that knee. Great place to be. If that was already a lot for you, you're going to stay there. Otherwise, we're going to take those knees and ankles and towards each other. Feet down by the seat or up towards knee height, but no further. So we're in a kind of 90 degree angle here. The closer your knees are towards your chest, then the easier this is going to be on the lower back. So we draw the knees in a little and then imprint the lower belly into the spine, imprinting the lower back into the mat. Keep that. And then palms to both thighs. I'm going to add about 5% here. Palms into thighs, thighs into palms, but keep that lower belly anchored. Roll the shoulders back and into the earth. And if this feels like a lot, then you're taking that left foot down and continuing just with the right side. Keep the breath steady. The more you draw the knees towards your chest, the easier it will become. If you draw your knees away even millimeters, it's going to become harder. Draw the belly button down and breathe. Let's take another couple of breaths here. Notice if that belly is lifting and the lower back is not firmly pressed into the mat. If it is, just draw the knees closer to you. And then on that exhale, both knees draw in. Give yourself a little hug. One more set. So that left foot can be on the floor and you do a third set of that one right raised leg. You can do exactly what we were doing or we're going to keep that right hand and thigh connected about five or 10% of pressure. Belly button's drawn down into the spine, lower back is imprinted. Shoulders back and down. On an inhale, we're going to extend the left arm, left leg, that's the inhale, exhale, drawing them back and towards each other. Keep that pressure up on the right side, and we've got three more to go. Keep that lower back 
anchored into the mat. Only extending the left arm and leg as much as you feel that lower back anchored. Next time those hands come back, we're going to draw our knees in, rock and roll from side to side, massaging either side of that lower back. Keeping that left leg drawn in, take the right foot down. Same thing, other side. Push down into the right foot to anchor the lower back into the mat. With that left knee drawn in, let's circle through the ankle. Big range of motion here. And then we'll pause and take it around in the opposite direction. Point and stretch those toes at the places that feel intuitive to you so we really get into the joints of the feet. And the next time we flex that foot, keep the foot um, and the ankle flexed. We're going to draw that left knee up towards the sky. And left palm, left thigh, right up by the knee. Anchor that right foot down to anchor the belly down. Roll that left shoulder back and down so the shoulder blade is really tucked towards the spine. And we breathe. And then we start to add about 5 or 10% of pressure. Thigh into um, flat palm, palm into thigh. Keep the breath anchored. You can add or take away any amount of pressure. If you're building tension through the shoulder, neck, and jaw, please do a little less. Let's do another two breaths here. Stay for that last exhale. And I'm going to draw that left knee in. Option to do the same thing again. Option to draw both knees in. Keep the knees and ankles connected towards each other and we're taking the knees up towards the sky. Those heels can be down by the seat or up towards knee height but no further. Nice flex in that ankle. Left hand, left thigh, right hand, right thigh. And drawing the belly button down to imprint the lower back. Maybe that means you draw the knees a little closer. And we stay. Breathing, rolling the shoulder blades back and down, keeping that chest nice and open as we breathe. If you're losing the breath, make it easier on yourself, drawing the knees a little closer. If you want to challenge yourself, take those knees a millimeter or so further away. Anchor that belly button down. And let's take three more breaths. If that's too much, lower that right foot. Keep the pressure only on the left hand and thigh. Next exhale, we draw the knees in. Give yourself a rock and roll. You can do any of the two previous, or knees come up to center again. Palms on the thighs, draw that belly button down to anchor the lower back, and again, the shoulders around and back. Keep five or 10% of pressure on that left leg. On the inhale, keeping the lower belly imprinted. Inhale, extend right leg, right arm. Exhale, tapping back nice and slowly as if moving through honey. Anytime the belly is popping up, anchor it down, don't extend too much. Three more, nice and slow. Always resting if you want to. Keeping that breath smooth, as smooth as you can. Last one. After that exhale, we're drawing the knees in towards you, giving yourself a little hug, rocking and rolling from side to side. From here, the feet go down, and we'll take those feet nice and wide, arms in a cactus or a T, keeping the back of the pelvis on the earth. We're just going to wash those knees gently from side to side. Any SI joint issues, this is where you stay. And if it feels okay to you, allow those knees to come more to one side, lifting the opposite side of the pelvis. 
keeping the ang shoulders anchored down, we're really opening up through those hips here. One more breath either side, always honoring that breath, your body as well. And then we'll take those knees in towards each other and draw those knees in. Hands on the knees, drawing the knees up towards the sky. And then we're drawing the knees in together, out, away, in together, out and away. So now we're circling through those hip joints. Keep the lower belly drawn in and down. If you do not need the hands to guide you, those arms can be anchored down. And then when you're ready, We'll pause with the knees in and we'll take those around in the opposite direction. Really opening up through the groin and getting those um, hips lubricated. Anytime we move, we're increasing synovial fluid through the joints. Let's take another two here. Slow it down, smooth it out. Mm-hmm. And then from here, the feet come down, shifting the hips to the right, keeping the shoulders anchored, either hands by the hips or a an cactus or a T. We're going to draw those knees in and then keeping that right shoulder anchored, take the feet over towards the left side. Now you can take a bolster, a blanket, blocks underneath you making any adjustments, how high those knees come, how low, keeping that right shoulder anchored will support the neck. If you want to take the gaze over that right side to anchor that top knee, you're welcome to take the left hand to wherever it lands on the top of the right knee, outer thigh, and breathe. Allow the breath to be soft and easy. Notice if you're still forcing anything, go straining, see if you can release any tension. Keep the breath flowing. You can stay here, or gaze comes up to center, and then the knees come up too. Release the feet down, shift the hips through center and to the left. Same thing, other side. Keeping the left shoulder anchored, knees come up and over to the right, any amount. You can take any support underneath the lower legs there. And again, that right hand can rest on top of the top leg there, just to anchor it down, give it some weight. If that left shoulder is anchored, take the gaze over that left shoulder. And we're breathing. Mm -hmm. Beautifully done. Gaze can come through center if it's off to the side. Inhaling the knees up through center. Feet come down and the, knee, and the hips come back through center too. And then from there, we're gonna draw those knees in and send the legs up towards the sky. Easy joints here. You can circle through the ankles one direction and then another. Keeping the shoulders anchored, let's cross that right thigh on top of the left, really connected as far up to the groin as you can. So not by the knees, it's gonna be very different for each of our bodies as we're put together differently. Cross as close to the groin as you can and then bend the knees. And we're drawing those knees down and in towards the chest. Maybe this is where you stay, depending on the length of your arms, this already may be challenging. Option to slide those hands down to the ankles or even coming to the outer feet as the feet go wide and we draw the shape down as we get into that right hip. 
shoulder blades anchor to the earth and we get this wide open chest if we can it's a lot of compression here through the hips through the knees maybe even through the ankles those thighs pushed in towards the belly and we're breathing noticing how this feels in your body soften through the jaw if the shoulders and arms and throat and neck are getting tense then let the legs do more of the work drawing in rather than that just being through the hands and wherever those hands are we're going to slide them back to the knees unless they're there already straighten through the legs and then we're crossing the left thigh over the right this may feel very different to you Bending the knees, drawing those knees down and in towards you. And this may be where you stay. You can slide the hands down away towards the ankles. And depending on the length of your arms, maybe you reach towards the outer feet. Maybe you don't. Shoulder blades anchored down towards the earth. And now we're getting into the left hip. Again, this is a lot about compression. And we feel like your thighs are really squeezing into the lower abdomen. Keep the breaths as full as you can. And if you're taking a lot of pressure in your jaw, your neck, your shoulders, please release and let the legs curl in towards you a little more. And then when you're ready, releasing the hands back to the knees. Sending those feet up towards the sky and uncrossing. Let's take a couple of rolls through the ankles here. And then when you're ready, bending one knee and then the other. Feet coming down to the floor. Ankles can go wide, knees in towards each other. We've got constructive rest here. And then from here, your option to come into your resting place that you choose to. Any bolster underneath the knees or thighs, I highly recommend that. That lowers any pressure in the lower back. You can, of course, be on your belly, your side. Any additional props you need to make yourself more comfortable, please take the time. And then we allow ourselves to settle into a place so we feel we can let go. When you're ready, take a breath in. Exhale, let the breath go and let the body rest into the support underneath you. Take a few breaths for that to happen. Truly allowing your body to settle. And when you feel settled, softening the gaze or closing the eyes if you haven't already, letting the breath go completely so your breath comes back to itself, gentle and soft, imagining your bones getting heavy. Relaxing your joints and the muscles, allowing the expression on your face to release completely. distractions, the thoughts, drift a little further away as you anchor your awareness into this moment and allow yourself to simply be.
staying here for as long as you wish, floating, drifting, deeper and deeper. to stay for longer, tune my voice out. If you wish to finish your practice, starting to allow your awareness to reorient yourself back in the space you are. Imagining the walls around you, feeling the surface underneath you. Starting to allow a little deeper breath in. And exhale like a soft sigh. Another few breaths just like that. And then when you're ready, starting to bring a little lazy soft movement into your extremities. Maybe slide your head from side to side, noticing how it feels. And finding your own way to a place that you would like to finish up your practice over the next few breaths, lazily, slowly, feeling into your body. Taking your time, using any props you need to, to find yourself in a comfortable place, whatever you've chosen. Hands in any gesture at all that feel really good to you. And we'll take a breath in when you're ready. On an exhale, softening the gaze or closing the eyes as you drift the chin down towards your chest. Thanking yourself fully and completely for spending this time with yourself. From my heart to yours, thank you for joining me.